Hello everyone, so uh, in this video I'm going to discuss another problem from uh, uh, UGB 2024. So uh, the problem is problem number 6. So the exam was held yesterday and it's currently now 5 a.m. in the morning. So uh, let's discuss the problem. So let x1, x2, dot dot x 2024 be non-negative real numbers. So you have 2024 non-negative real numbers and uh, so uh, with uh, their sum to be all 1 so non-negative means uh, that is uh, greater than or equal to 0 now uh, find with proof the maximum and the minimum possible values of the expression uh, so the x size have been summed from uh, I, uh, 1 to 100, uh, uh, 1012 and uh, then from 1013 to 2024 the squares have been summed ok so now if I uh, let's see so what we can do here so the thing is that this is an inequality problem a uh, little bit of hint you are getting that we can use some inequality but uh, one side we would need uh, I would be using inequality the other side is <coughs> uh, almost trivial so uh, so first of all like uh, let's go to the <coughs> so yeah okay so problem six so first of all like this summation uh, i going from 1 to 10 12 x i plus summation i going from 10 13 to 2024 20, x i square so this what i can write it as what i can do is like i can take all the x i's together in the first one and then I can sum, uh, I can uh, like uh, take the minus of these x i's, right? So I can write this as summation i going from 1 to 2024 x i, and then I can say that this is i going from 1013 to 2024 x i square minus x i. So see if it's fine okay so now try to notice that like uh, this x i is that this sum is given to be 1 and then what about that sum now x i is there they are they are they are numbers from like 0 to 1 so their squares will be lesser than themselves and that's why all these terms x i square minus x i they are negative or 0 okay so that means like uh, what I can say is I can simply say that this is less than equals to 1 okay because this is 1 and uh, this is less than equals to 0 and thus together it's less than equals to uh, 1 okay so now uh, I can see that uh, the maximum value that can be achieved is 1 but again I cannot directly say that the maximum value uh, is, that is being achieved is 1 ok so I can see that yes 1 is a possibility but I have to show the existence so for the existence let's uh, look at an example so uh, existence you have to show that there is such a sequence where this thing is happening so for that what we can do is like uh, you can simply take uh, let's say that the first term x1 to be 1 and uh, take xi to be 0 for all uh, i going from uh, that is uh, 2 to 2024 ok so all the terms I make it 0 and uh, just the first term or any term you just make it to be 1 and uh, you can very well see that uh, it's satisfying the given condition of the uh, here it's satisfying the given condition that is the sum is 1 and uh, so everything is satisfying and you are getting that 1 is getting achieved and so uh, the maximum is 1 so maximum max value is 1 now talking about the minimum value okay mean value so for that what will you uh, so we are going to use uh, Cauchy uh, squads inequality so uh, let's take that uh, so what I'll do here is I'll take summation i going from 1 to 10 12 x i so I am going to take this sum as t ok and uh, let us say that the other sum that is uh, x uh, i is going from 1013 to 2024 uh, that was x i square 
so this sum i am going to take it as then uh, basically this sum becomes 1 minus t right so uh now what so uh now what is that like uh, we have to uh, let's say that what we can do is let's uh, do one thing let's square up okay let's square this one so that means i get 1 minus t square as summation uh i going from 10 13 to 2024 20, uh x i square whole square okay so now try to understand that what i can do here is i can use use uh, cauchy squares inequality like uh, i can use the ais as let's say all the uh, ais as one so sum of ai squares times sum of bi squares bi squares can be uh, from uh, that is uh, x uh, 10 13 square uh, then x uh, plus x uh, 10 14 square and so on till x 2024 20, square so i can do that and uh, so this is basically coming out to be less than or equals to that sum of the uh, so basically using cauchy square so sum of the ai squares where ais are all one so it's going so there are uh, notice that there are 2012 terms because 1013 and 2024 are also involved so 1012 times uh, sorry. summation x i square i going from 10 13 to 2024 okay so now try to notice that like this is we got by cauchy squares inequality simply so now what so we uh, like what we what do we want we want xi square plus uh, sorry summation of xi plus summation uh, summation of xi square and uh, so let's again uh, write it down so we want summation i going from 1 to uh, it was till 10 12 plus xi plus summation uh, i going from 10 13 to 2024 20, okay x i square so now i can say that this is greater than equal to so now i know that like uh, that that sum is t plus now this sum is uh, what that is uh, one uh, you see that this is one minus t square so one minus t uh, whole square divided by one zero one two okay so sum of the x i squares from one zero one three to two zero two four is greater than equals to 1 minus t whole square divided by uh, 10 12 so now what about this one so this is a function of t okay so let's take it to be some f of t so all we have to do is like uh, uh, get the minimum value of f of t okay the function so uh, natural idea comes is like to differentiate so uh, okay so if we differentiate it so uh, let's see so the very first thing is that f dash t is t will come out to be 1 and then uh, 2 times so the denominator will be 500 and uh, this will be 506 and above we will have 1 minus t and there will be a negative sign that will be coming out so okay this will be plus sorry my mistake So plus or basically let's put uh, the minus will be coming out so this will be minus okay so this is what we are getting and uh, this is what like this is 1 minus of 1 by 5 not 6 uh, plus t by 5 not 6 now try to understand that uh, like uh, can we can we see the sign of this derivative like uh, see t is from 0 to 1 so let me just so t belongs to close 0 open uh, and uh, close 1 so in this interval what happens to this f dash t so as you can see that 1 minus 1 by 5 not 6 this is positive and t is also positive so always like this is greater than 0 for all t belonging to there so now we have that the function is strictly increasing so that means the function will take the minimum value at t equals 0 so f of 0 is 
again uh, how much is f of 0 coming out f of 0 is 0 and uh, so that is basically 1 by 10 12 right but again if you leave it till here you won't be getting full marks because you haven't uh, shown the existence like yes fine like all we got to know right now is that summation uh, xi i going from uh, 1 to uh, what was it 10 12 so 10 12 plus summation um, i going from 10 13 to 2024 xi square so this is uh, yeah this is what we got is greater than equals to f of 0 which is basically 1 by 10 12 okay so now the uh, problem is that like we have to show the existence that is uh, that is uh, for some sequence uh, which is satisfying the condition so this uh, 10 12 value is getting achieved for this sum that is for this sum so let's uh, try to create a, an example so uh, an ex easy example would be like uh, so basically like we see we can very well see that the idea of the example is very easy that is we can see that for t equals 0 it's happening so if t is equals to 0 so uh, where did we write t? yeah so summation this xi i going from 10 uh, 1 to 10 12 xi this is 0 so just simply let's make it uh, all these xi's to be 0 okay so xi are 0 for all i going from uh, for all i going from like or uh, let's write it like this that is for i greater than equals to 1 less than equals to 20, uh, 10 12 okay so all the terms are zero so t is also zero and now we have to make uh, remaining i have uh, that is uh, remaining i have 10 12 numbers so i have to make the summation to be one so that means what we can do is we can take all the rest of the x size to be uh, let's say one uh, so let's let's make all of them equal so one by uh, 10 12 okay and uh, for i going from greater than equals to let's say 10 13 to 20 24 okay so now uh, what i have is basically like uh, this this is satisfying the given condition that is the sum of all the x size is one now what about uh, this minimum value is it getting achieved for this one so sum of so sum of x i is zero sum of x i i going from uh, 1 to 10 12 that is 0 plus summation uh, that is uh, i going from 10 13 to uh, 20 24 okay so this is basically coming out to be 1 by 1 0 1 2 square okay because it's x i square and thus we are getting this is equal to 0 plus uh, there are uh, all the terms are equal so 20 uh, 10 12 terms are there times 1 by uh, 10 12 square and which comes out to be 1 by which comes out to be 1 by 10 12 and so we can see that for this sequence uh, the minimum value that is 10 12 is getting achieved and so the minimum value of that expression is uh, 1 by 10 12 okay and uh, so that's uh, the one for this uh, that's the solution for this uh, problem number six and uh, again i hope you uh, all like the solution so if so then don't forget to put a like and uh, please do share it among the other students as well and if you didn't get anywhere so just comment down below and uh, i'll try to uh, explain uh, i mean to the best of my ability and uh, yeah so that's it for this video and also do check out the other solution videos as well and uh, see you in the next one